The next hook we are going to learn about is the useRef hook. This hook makes it possible to access DOM nodes directly within functional components. For our understanding, we will take a look at one of the more common use cases, which is focusing a text input. For example, consider a login form. As soon as the page loads, let's say by default, we want the username input field to be focused. Let's see how to achieve that with the useRef hook. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called focusinput.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. Within the JSX, I will add an input element. Input type is equal to text. Finally, I will include this component in app.js. If you now save both the files and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have an input element. What we want though, is for this element to be focused on page load. Let's see how to do that. First, we need to implement the component did mount behavior as we want to focus on the input element only once and that is after the component has mounted. Lucky for us, we already know how to do this using the effect hook. So import use effect from react and within the component, call use effect. Use effect takes in an arrow function as its first argument and a dependency array as its second argument. We leave the array empty as we want this function to execute only once. And what is it that we want to do within the function? We want to focus the input element. And the way to do that is using the ref hook. Now there are three simple steps. First step is to import useRef from React. Second step, create a ref variable by calling useRef and passing in the initial value. So const input ref is equal to useRef and initially the ref will hold null value. Once we create the ref, we need to attach it to the input element. And to attach a ref, we make use of the reserved ref attribute. So on the input element, ref is equal to input ref. That is the name of our reference variable. The final step is to call the focus method on the input element. Within the arrow function, we specify input ref dot current dot focus. Now, where did this current property come from? Well, that is just something React does. React will set the ref's current property to the corresponding DOM node. Hence, this is how you actually access the input element. InputRef.Current Alright, let's save this and take a look at the browser. You can see that now, as soon as the page loads, the component mounts and the input element is focused. So this is how you can use the ref hook to imperatively access DOM nodes in React functional components. However, this is not the only use that useRef hook brings to the table. Let's take a look at another one of its uses in the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one.